Assalamu alaikum guys, inshallah you're well. I have another story for you today. This story is about the elephant. Have you heard the story of the elephant? So, a long time ago, before the Prophet ﷺ was born, the Kaaba was there. For a very long time, the Kaaba was there. And people used to go there from all over the world, and they used to stay there for a little while, and they used to do Hajj there, and they used to sell their things. And so it was a big, busy, bustling place, kind of a little bit like London. So it was a place where lots of people went to. And there was this man further south on the map. His name was Abraha. And he didn't like that everyone went to the Kaaba. He was jealous that everyone went to the Kaaba. And so he decided he wanted everyone to come to where he is to do pilgrimage there. And why did they have to go to the Kaaba? So he decided to build a special building, a cathedral made out of colourful glass and it was beautiful. And he thought, this is so amazing that everyone's going to want to come here. And nobody did. And so he was very angry and he thought the only way they're going to come to my building to do Hajj is if I destroy that brick, that cube that's in the desert and then they'll have to come to mine because mine is so much better. So he got together an army and he had a special elephant, big strong elephant, his name was Mahmoud and he was on that elephant and he marched all the way to Mecca um, so that he can destroy the Kaaba. Now, on the way, they were horrible to people. He, they would kill people, they would steal their, their things, they would steal their sheep or their camels or whatever it was. They were not nice people. And on the way, what they did was they stole a guy called Abdul Muttalib's camels. Now, Abdul Muttalib actually was the Prophet, peace be upon him's grandfather. He was also the chief of Mecca. So he was in charge of looking after Mecca. Abraha and his horrible army stole his camels and then when they were waiting on the side and they were going to be ready to come to Mecca to destroy the Kaaba, Abdul Muttalib thought, I need to go and get back my camels because they're my camels, I need them. So he went to Abraha and Abraha thought, oh, this man is going to want me to not destroy the Kaaba. I wonder what he has to say. So he had a chat with him and Abdul Muttalib said to him, excuse me, I'd like my camels back. You stole my camels and that's not okay and I want them back. And Abra look, Abraha looked at him and thought, what on earth? I want to destroy the Kaaba. You have nothing to say about that. You just care about your camels. And Abdul Muttalib said something really, really cool. He said, I am in charge of the camels. They're my camels. I need to be in charge of them. However, the Kaaba has its Lord, has its God, and Allah will protect its Kaaba, his Kaaba. So, Abraha thought, that's a bit crazy. I'm going to destroy the Kaaba anyway. You just care about your camels. He didn't understand what it meant, but we know what it meant. We know that the Kaaba belongs to Allah and Allah is going to protect it. So, this is what happened. Mahmoud, the elephant, didn't want to destroy the Kaaba. So every time Abraha wanted to charge at the Kaaba, Mahmoud wouldn't go. He would dig his heels in the ground and he wouldn't go. And he was, Abraha was very angry at Mahmoud and that was not okay because he wanted to destroy the Kaaba. And then what happened was, as they were about to go and charge, Allah sent tiny little birds called Tayr Ababil with tiny little stones in their claws called um, stones from Sijil, which is a place in Jahannam, in hell. So they were super, super, super fiery hot, special tiny stones. And the birds came and they filled the sky. There were so many of them. And they dropped their tiny little hot boiling stones onto Abraha and his army. And they all got scared and they all got hurt and they ran away and they didn't destroy the Kaaba. So Allah protected the Kaaba by sending Tayr Ababil, so little Ababil birds, with stones from Sijil, and they threw it on these naughty people, and they ran away, and they didn't destroy the Kaaba. So Allah protected the Kaaba. Now these days, we're living in a kind of a weird time where the Kaaba is shut, and people aren't allowed to go and pray there because of the coronavirus. But all this does is remind us that we're not praying to the Kaaba, 
we're praying to Allah, who's the Lord of the Kaaba. He's in charge of the Kaaba, he's in charge of the world, he's in charge of us. And even if we can't go to the mosque to pray, and we can't go to the Kaaba to pray, we can still pray at home, and we can still worship Allah, because Allah's in our hearts, he's not inside the mosque, or just inside the Kaaba, he's everywhere, and he's in our hearts. So don't worry that we can't go to the mosque to pray. Don't worry that the Kaaba is closed. We can still pray and Allah still loves us and it's all okay. Have a lovely day guys. I'll see you soon with another story. Assalamu alaikum.